Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Guns in HD, and today I'm going to be showing you about the light scrape system. And I don't know if you can tell or not, this camera's kind of crappy. But here I burned a nice little design. There's one. So far I've only burned about, yeah, I've only burned two. And hold on. Here's my other one. Kind of a good design, but it was whatever. It's the first one I made. And then this is my Racer X Second Heat. Good band. Good album. Um, you know, these CDs are great. They burn at 52 times speed. Um, they are CDR, so you can't burn it and then. They can go blank afterwards. But they were fairly cheap, you know. A standard pack of CDs cost me, what, $5? And these are verbatims. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And I got them off of buy.com for $7 with free shipping, which is pretty good. Especially since I didn't know how to do this, and this is my first time doing it. Um, I'm going to show you how you actually do a light scribe system and here I will show you in a minute alright guys I am back and yes I am in my car kinda ghetto I know but it will have to do for now okay um if you've used a light scribe before you should have that little light scribe icon but I'm guessing since you're watching this video you're just getting started so here we go. Um, first of all, make sure... I don't know if you can see that or not. Hold on one second. Check your DVD drive and make sure that it has the Light Scribe logo. If it doesn't, I highly doubt that your laptop, PC, whatever is capable of doing this. Um... I say I'm um, a lot. You go to all programs or wherever you are. You look up for Lightscribe. You could either go to computer program files and whatnot, or you could just go on here. Hold on, let me look for it real quick. Okay, so right there, Lightscribe. Click on it, and if this is your first time doing it, I I'm guessing it should have only the getting started one. And if you click it, sometimes it will go, well my computer always fucks up and it doesn't open it, but it did open it the first time. But I will put a link down in the description that will take you straight to the page where you can download certain things. You would download, um, I believe it is, it's not software, but it makes sure that you do have a live scribe and it makes sure that it's up to date. And also there will be a little part that says Lightscribe, Lightscribe Template Labeler. Um, you install that and this should come up whenever you install it. And you just press OK. And here you go. There is your CD or whatnot. And here's just a bunch of, you know, designs. There's a section also on Lightscribe that gives you the option to download more you know, templates of your option. There's music ones, there's ones with crazy skulls, and here, as you can see, is the one that I had. Let's just use this for an example. And here you can add your text, and you can add just about anything you want. And you could put it in bold, italics, underline it, or outline it. You could put it horizontally, center it. Um, you can change the font size, what kind of font you want, and also up here you can choose to pick any images, and you can put just about any image you want in there. I would recommend you choose a really dark black image, because I did burn this a disc, and I burned a picture of me and my girlfriend to give it to her, and it kind of came out kind of crappy because the picture wasn't really that dark, but it also wasn't bad, so that was a good thing. And once your 
Once you have all your template filled out, there's a section that says preview and print. And it should take you to this section. Also, whenever you're buying Lightscribe CDs, there's more than just one color. This color is right here, just the color that the stock one that's like available everywhere. And you know, they have that normal tan color, blue, green, yellow, orange. I guess that's a pink. Yeah, that's pink. And here is the if you have a light scribe, it should come up with a drive. And when you're ready, it should come up where it says print. And it does say right here, print time estimate about 20 minutes. I will tell you this right now, that is probably not true. It takes you, for just like standard like this, it takes you about you know, 10 minutes. When I added my font on the bottom, Razor X and Second Heat, it took about 15 minutes. So, that's a good thing. Also, it's not too bad. And if you don't know how to use a Lightscribe, I will show you. I just showed you how you could add the template and whatnot. And here, right now, I'm about to show you how to do the second part. So, I will be back in the next section. Okay, I'm back, guys. And I don't have any blank um, verbatim CDs with me, so I'm just going to use this one. Whenever you're burning your light scribe CD, you need to make sure you put it in the right way. Here it is, face up, you know, if you open the box or the CD case or whatever, it should be facing up this way. This is obviously the darker side and you should be able to tell which one is the side to burn your data, music, anything. This side, obviously, the bottom one, you put You put this side facing down, and when you do that, you know, you pop it back in, and you burn the music you want onto it, and after you're done burning the music onto it, you open back up your drive, and you flip it over, and you close it back up, and it should, it should pop up. Your computer's probably going to think it's another blank disk. It does that for me. It pops up that it's a blank disk. You know, what do you want to do with your blank CD, CD? And you just exit out of that. And once it's upside down inside your drive and you're ready to do it, just open up what I showed you on the LightScribe template labeler. And it will, you know, let you do whatever you want. And after you're done burning it, it should come out like this. And that is everything. That is my tutorial on how to do Lightscribe CDs. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And have fun with your Lightscribe CDs.